Hello reformers and welcome to Freeman Guerrilla Warfare. Now this game is a melding of Mountain Blade and modern military shooters. And I gotta say that the developers have done a fantastic job so far. It's still in early access and you can check it out through the link in the description. So let's without further ado start a new campaign. Alright, so as you can see here, we've entered campaign mode. You're about to start your career as an army commander. Your only objective is to conquer the world. Hold 10 towns, eliminate Pozna Battalion, free Cossacks army, and Atov revolution forces. Now, the campaign rule only has standard mode right now, but I think that's going to be enough for us. Anyway. Let's press OK, and now we can choose our faction name. I'm going to be calling ourselves the Reformian Rebels. May maybe? Yeah, I guess. Something like that. Now, what's cool about this is that you can actually upload your own logo. As you can see there, you can technically upload it, but obviously it's not implemented just yet. Very excited to see when that happens, so I can actually put my own logo in the game. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I think that's pretty awesome. Anyway. We're going to select the only one that is kind of rem reminiscent of my color scheme at the moment. So I'm just going to go for the black and gray one with the, the little white squares. I, I guess we'll go for that. So Reformian Rebels, let's do that. All right. So welcome, Commander. You are now on the world map. You're free to go anywhere by clicking on any location you wish. Your mission is to capture and hold 10 towns for our cause. It would also be wise, once you have control of these towns, to improve the local infrastructure. This way, we can rally the support of local population through security and additional taxes. Standing in our way are three major factions. And I've read those out before, so I'm not going to butcher their names again. We need them all eliminated. But it will not be easy. You need a strong army to do so. The best way to begin your path to conquering the world is to make some money by eliminating bandits that plague this land. Gradually, you will be able to recruit more soldiers to your army and equip them with all the gear you need to take out the stronger faction's armies. We're counting on you to unite us all under one banner. Good luck, Commander. Alright, so we start here. Very reminiscent of Mountain Blade, of course. Anyone that has played Mountain Blade or seen any videos of Mountain Blade will know that this is exactly kind of the way you start usually, you know, with the exception of obviously the initial bandit quest and things like that. But here's our party right now. We currently have a party size of 18, and we currently have these guys here, and we have a thousand in terms of money. And as you can see, they're actually using all these different kinds of weapons. You can actually inspect what kinds of weapons they're using, which is pretty awesome in my opinion. It also shows their attack strength, as well as their armor, as well as their daily wages. Now obviously the volunteer squad is going to have a much lower daily wage than the FCA recruits, because they are, well, just in general better. They have better weapons, and well, they, they actually don't have better armor or anything like that, so I guess it's just the weapon change that actually makes a difference. Now. The morale system in this game is a little bit different than that of Mountain Blade. You can actually reward your troops to increase morale by a standard value, and in this case it's 20, which in my opinion is a very, very nice way of doing it, so you don't have to really rely too much on food and things. And speaking of food, I currently have 140 of it, so I might need to go and buy a little bit more, but for now we're probably just going to try and find some bandits. So let's just go into our inventory right here. You can see that I start off with a Makarov pistol, some forest pants, a blue shirt. We do have the capability to wear a helmet, some mask or a goggle, you know, got some goggles. And we also have some knee protection because you never know about those arrows, right? And then we also have gloves, body armor, and then we have various things that we can put on our belt as well. We also have some frag grenades here too. Now, we have five skill points to spend. We can spec them into constitution, which increases your maximum health. We can spec them into dexterity, which increases our firearm damage. Or we could spec them into intelligence. And personally, I think I'm going to be going for a slightly intelligence favored build right here, because what I'd like to do is get a good amount of commanding and leadership skill. And I'll go through all of the skills as we progress. But for now, I'm just going to be improving our intelligence to six, our dexterity to five. I don't really care that much about constitution just at the moment, because it's early on in the game. We can still improve that if we so desire, but as you can see, it only increases our maximum health by five. We have a, an HP value of 100 at the moment, and five 
I don't know whether that's really going to make too much difference whether we get killed or not. So, considering we're using a pistol at the moment, I'm going to be specking into small arms. And we're also going to be specking into medical as well, or first aid. Yeah, look at that. There we go. First aid. Each point of the skill makes medkit 10% more effective and reduces the kill and action rate of soldiers by 5%. That's actually pretty good. But first off, we're going to take commanding and leadership. We're going to just max those out as best we can. And each point makes your squads gain more experience through combat. That's actually pretty good. I think I might like to go for some navigation as well. Mm. There, there's just so many very useful skills. So it's very difficult to kind of decide between them. But I guess we'll just have to go for navigation this time around. I mean, we're going to level up pretty easily as it is. I'm going to just put some more 9mm ammo into our belt slot here. We do have some linen and some bread, some beer, and some food cans. I don't think the beer does much. I'm not entirely sure about that. But anyway, let us continue onward. And let us see where we are going to go. Now, we do have some bandits right over there. They are armored marauders. I'm not really wanting to fight armored marauders right now, so I would appreciate finding some bandits that are a little bit less... Oh, my. A little bit less powerful. Oh, there we go. There's some looters with 11. That's going to be much better for us. So let's go over there and see if we can tackle them. Yes, what do you want? Don't bother us. Prepare to die. My men will have no mercy. All right, so let's do this. All right, so this is where you basically begin. So this is kind of a little bit Total War-esque in the way that you deploy your units. Obviously, our deployment area is much smaller than in Total War, but that's absolutely fine because you really don't have to worry about it too much. So let us deploy our volunteers. Now, you can move this anywhere in the green circle. So I'm just going to put them over here, and then we can put our FCA recruits over here. And we're going to be taking this in kind of a, a nice conal shape, and maybe trying to get a bit of a pincer attack on the opponent. Now we can deploy four squads thanks to our commanding skill. So once we have recruited a bunch more, which is pretty easy to do, just, just bear with me of course, and then we're going to have four squads, which is actually going to be pretty awesome. Anyway, let us... Now, use some waypoints. Now, they do use waypoint system in a similar fashion to Frozen Synapse. I don't know whether you've, whether you've heard of Frozen Synapse, but it's, it's kind of similar in that respect. So you just double click, and then you can tell your units to move along. And you can tell them to charge, but that is very reckless, and usually will result in maybe them dying. It really depends. But proceed with caution is usually the way to go. So what I'm going to do is just going to move them around here. You can do multiple not multiple waypoints, so we're just going to move them around there, and then they're going to meet kind of in the middle like that. And now the others, we're going to be telling them to go around here, and then a little bit further, and then we're going to tell them to go in like so. So it's, it's going to be a bit of a pincer attack. Let's just hope that the bandits have decided not to wander around the outside. That's not going to be too good. So let us now close here. And hello there! Oh, look at this! We're in first person, and I have my own little pistol here as well. So now I'm going to follow one of our groups here. I'm probably going to try and follow the FCA recruits just because they are most likely going to be a little bit more effective at killing the opponent, and I don't really want to die in the first ever battle that we see here, so that's not very good. Oh, as you can see, we're already being shot at. You can take a look at the battle map and see what's currently going on. I... Well, I, I can't see any opponents right now. Usually, oh no, yeah, yeah, oh, well. Usually you can actually see the red enemies on the battle map, but it seems like maybe I'm... Maybe that was my footsteps. Huh. <laughs> I think that was probably my footsteps. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, well, you can see here that they're, they're being very, very cautious. By the way, the AI is actually pretty decent. I've heard reports that the AI is mm, a little bit rough at the moment, but... I don't think it's too bad. Ah, there we go. The volunteers. Ah, there. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, so we're going to clear the waypoints of these guys, and we're going to tell them to go over in this direction. These guys right here, we're going to tell them to clear their waypoints, and they're coming over in this direction as well. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to just try and take out these these guys first. We're being, we're being shot at at the moment, as you can see.
There we are. All right, so I'm going to try and see if we can... We're, we're kind of caught out of position here, but as you can see, the AI does have a pretty decent way of doing things. They go into prone, and they're able to take some pretty good cover. And uh, now I'm going to try and flank our opponents if I can. Oh, oh here, we, yep, here we go. Here we go. Getting shot. Now, each battle does have a time limit, as you can see at the top there. It's about a seven-minute time limit, and that's that's pretty good in my opinion, so it doesn't drag on for too long. I, I actually like that quite a bit. So let's see if I can continue. Oh, there we go. There's one. Got him. Okay, and there's another one. There we go. Okay, so we killed all of those, and I am now at 56 HP, which is not very good, but there's only four enemies remaining. We haven't lost any units so far, which is pretty fantastic, and it seems like our volunteers have completely eliminated the other forces that were attempting to close in on us. So now we just have to explore a little bit more around and see if we can find the remaining units. Do bear in mind the AI as I say, is pretty good because the enemy AI is capable of doing some pretty nasty ambushes. I was playing a little bit earlier and I was ambushed from behind outside of the red circle, which is technically where they're supposed to be, but obviously the AI has some adaptability and they're capable of doing those sneaky attacks that we don't really appreciate, but yeah. That was that was pretty impressive. Now, bear in mind that these things right here, these shrubs, you can't pass through these. You can actually use them as cover, which is pretty fantastic too. So, yeah, you can kind of get the, the gist of what's going on there. And who are we being shot by? Ah, we're being shot from over here. I wonder whether they have a sniper. That is not very good. Let's tell them to go over in this direction. And we'll tell these guys to go over in this direction. And let's see if we can kind of try and get a little bit of a group up on them. Now, bear in mind that we also have the opportunity and the ability to restore our HP over time. It's very slow, so, you know, don't have to worry too much about it being, you know, god mode or anything like that, but it is helpful in some respects, because if you're very, very low in HP, then you don't really want to, you know, have yourself die instantly. Ah, okay, I'm gonna have to clear the waypoint of these guys and tell them to go over here straight away because we are currently being shot at, as you can see from over in this direction. So let's tell them to do that. We can t also tell them to follow us if we so desire, but I don't think that's really necessary right now. And this is really not very good for me to do. It's not very good for me to just charge in here, but I'm kind of wanting to just show you a little bit more of the gunplay because the gunplay is actually really good in the fact that this game has been compared a little bit to armor and I've played armor in the past and let me just say that it's not as clunky in regards to firing a gun you know firing a gun in armor is a little bit clunky because they're they're trying to do the full realism thing but in this it's a little bit better and I gotta say I'm very appreciative of that because yeah, if it was like armor, I'd probably not be able to hit anything, so... <laughs> yes, anyway, let's see where the... Ah, there's the guy. Okay, so we're going to have to go in this direction. Now, do bear in mind that there's also no mini-map. There is no mini-map, so you are not going to have the opportunity to see exactly where the opponent is at a moment's notice. You have to open up the map, and that means you probably have to take a little bit of cover just to make sure you don't get absolutely murdered. So as you can see here, we're actually gaining a little bit of cash. We're gaining 818, actually, in the form of money. And we also have a bunch of other loot here as well. So there you go. We can now leave the battlefield, go back to our party screen right here. And as you can see, I still have the same amount of HP. Now, you can restore that on the main map. As you can see, it does have a bit of a an increased speed of regeneration. Or, if you so desire, you can go to one of the towns and you can you can actually go to a hospital, pay about 150 bucks, and then you can get back your full HP, which is pretty cool in itself. Anyway, one of these guys has leveled up, or did I level up? It seems like I've leveled up. Okay, so I don't need to actually give these guys any more money because... Well, the volunteers are the only ones that are kind of having a couple of morale problems. The FCA recruits are absolutely fantastic. They're doing absolutely fine. As you can see, they've almost leveled up as well. So that's nice. Okay, so let's go into the inventory here. I have leveled up. So what do I want to do? Probably want to do some more intelligence. 
And I'd like to do some medical. Faster and increases healing speed during combat. Oh. That's actually really nice. Maybe I want to do that. Hmm. I mean, there's so many different things here that you really want to take. I mean, another 5% increased speed on the world map is pretty good. So I'm going to take first aid now just to prevent our soldiers from maybe dying outright from lethal damage. So yeah, hopefully that's going to work. Oh yes, I should also mention, by the way, that you know in Mount of Blade when you're using a bow or using a gun or throwing weapons or any kind of projectile based weaponry and you're in a, a siege or a battle and you use all of your bullets or all of your arrows and then it's gone, right? Well, that's the thing. In the next battle in Mount of Blade, then your ammunition is magically back, you know, it's just restored itself. In this, the, the ammunition is persistent. So, in other words, if you use 10 bullets in a particular battle, then those 10 bullets are gone forever, unless you go to a nearby town and buy some more. So, yes, that is definitely something to take into account as well. Anyway, let's see if we can go to a nearby town and buy some, well, shall we say, recruit some more units. So we might stand a better chance at defeating some bigger parties. As you can see here, there's even a mercenary sniper team. These guys are so expensive, crazy expensive, but obviously I'm not going to be doing that right now. I'm probably going to get a mercenary militia squad. And we're just going to hire those. I mean, they seem pretty good to me. And we can also do a little bit of trading as well. There's a merchant, an equipment dealer, and a weapon dealer. The merchant is literally just... Ah, they, oh, look at this. This trader will pay 142% of the original price for water, which is pretty good. Yeah, as you can see, this has demand. So it tells you exactly what you need to do to gain the most amount of money, which is actually pretty cool. I'm going to sell the shovel. I don't think I can actually do anything with the shovel right now. I'm also going to sell the linen as well. Now, bear in mind that I've only played this game for a very small amount of time. So obviously, I don't know whether these things are actually very good or very bad or whatever the case may be. So yeah, bear that in mind. Anyway, I'm going to keep the beer just in case, just in case that has an effect. And we're going to sell the 50 cal MG magazine as well. And we're going to gain a little bit of cash from that. Now what I'd like to do is maybe buy some fruits. There we go. Buy some fruit. And is there anything else here that I can potentially buy? Maybe an energy drink? Yeah, do I want to buy an energy drink? Not really. Don't see the necessity for that at the moment. Maybe some bread. Let's buy some more bread. Bread and fruit. How fantastic. Yes. There we go. Bread and fruit. Very good. Okay, so let's go to the weapon dealer. Going to need to buy a little bit more 9mm ammo. And that will be fine as well. Is there anything else here that I really want? Well, you can get a Type 79 sniper rifle if you have 20,000 on you. Which we are going to have eventually, I suppose. But at the moment, it's probably not going to happen. There's also a Glock there, a P66 if you are into pistols, a light machine gun. There's even rocket launchers. Yes, there's even rocket launchers. There's an AKM. I'd actually like to get the AKM. I, I actually really, I, I like AKs in general in, in first person shooters. So it would be pretty awesome if I could get one of those, but it is 5,000. Maybe we'll be able to do that. And there's the hospital as well, but I don't actually need to do that. And you can attack too. So if you want to attack this, you can, but it has currently seven, seven members of a sniper squad, two conscript squad members, and various other things. It has a strength of 96. We have a strength of 15, I guess. I, I'm obviously learning this game as I go along as well. So, we have 15 now. Shall we go in versus one of these, well, bigger parties of bandits? I think I am going to, but I just want to restore my HP a little bit before I do. So I'm just going to walk back and forth here a little bit. And then we're going to go in. Now, these guys are technically aggressive, but I think at the moment we're just a bit too fast because I'm using navigation. So let's see if I can actually attack them now. There we go. All right, these guys are probably going to be much more difficult than the ones beforehand because we, well, we are technically outnumbered a little bit here. All right. So let's get everyone out there. Let's move them into some decent positions. We're going to take these guys, the mercenaries and the FCA recruits on the outside. So we're going to put them around here. 
put the volunteers in these trees around there and then these guys there. I think that's going to be probably giving us the greatest spread and kill potential possible. So let's hope that that actually happens. If it doesn't, uh, well, I guess you could just blame me because I'm the commander technically. So yes, are you are you actually going to move? Are they are they not moving? Ah, they, they, there they go. There we go. Now they're moving. All right. So there's 21 of them. I'm hopeful that I might be able to perform some flanking actions. I think that would be pretty cool. That's actually something you can also do. You can take some of your your squad and you can tell them to follow you and then you can obviously tell them to cease fire at the same time so that they don't give away your position because there is slight stealth in this game there is a stealth based system in this game that is obviously not very prominent at the moment but basically if you don't make noise and you go sneaky sneaky like i am right now then it's highly unlikely that you're going to be beset upon by any opponent before you actually know where they are. So that's pretty good in my opinion, and I'm just gonna continue. Okay, are we being attacked? Yes, we are being attacked from the side, okay. So we're going to need to clear the waypoints, tell these guys to actually go all the way over here. I do need to be a little bit careful though, because I don't really wanna get shot myself by some other party that might be in the area, because bear in mind that we are outnumbered. We are outnumbered, so that is something to definitely be careful of. I don't really want to get shot. Oh, you can see them already. Ooh, okay, we are being killed a little bit here. Are we being killed? Are we being flanked? Doesn't seem like we're being flanked. It's a little bit weird that a grenadier was already killed. But that's okay. As you can see, the FCA guards are doing a really fantastic job. I'm going to try and get around them. Oh, yeah. We're going to try and get some experience. Oh my, okay, that's a lot of them. That is a lot of them right there. Okay, I'm going to have to get these guys. Can these guys actually come over here? Oh, I don't know what they're doing. Oh dear. Enemy squad is fleeing. Oh, they're actually fleeing. Oh, I'm actually getting shot now as well. It's fantastic. I'd like to get behind here, if at all possible. Yeah, they're requesting some support. Yes, finally these guys are actually coming along here. That would be nice. And let's tell them to go in this direction. There is still one enemy over here, but I think he's probably going to die pretty soon. Is he straight? Ah, there he is. There we go, we got him. That was easy enough. Do bear in mind that this pistol is pretty inaccurate, but obviously we're not really specking into dexterity that much. And obviously our pistol proficiency is pretty low. So if you do want to specialize in much more first-person shooter combat, then you can do that, you know? That is perfectly up to you. Right, so I'm going to need to tell these guys to get over here. Maybe we can tell them to go this way. And we are maybe going to have some issues here. Mm, I'm going to have to do some kind of miraculous flanking attack here to push the battle in our favor, because if not, I think we might be facing a bit of a defeat. Maybe. Yeah, okay, I'm getting closer, getting closer. I'm trying to be kind of sneaky, but I don't really want to take too long to get there, if you know what I mean. Because if I take too long, then all of our guys are going to die. You can see all the muzzle flashes as well. There they are down there. Okay, they're all down there. Alright, there's one right there, so I'm gonna... Well, I suppose I'm kind of helping. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Okay, I'm going to try and back away. Uh, am I going to die? I might be dying here. Ouch. 
Yes. Yes. That is an ouch. Yeah. And now we can engage without me, but I have a bad feeling that that's probably... Yeah. Your army is destroyed in this battle, and you're badly injured. Ah. Yeah, so that's exactly what I mean. You do have those kinds of things actually happening. And, well, I guess I should have just been a little bit more careful. And that's... Well, that's the nature of these kinds of games, you know? You are going to have those those particular engagements that are a little bit too difficult for you. And maybe I should have just recruited maybe another squad. Yeah, another squad probably would have helped us out there. But that's okay, because I can just go and I can recruit some more. So that will be it for this episode. If you'd like to see more, then by all means, let me know. And so I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.